eight personal rules you should follow for business success. Hey, if you're starting and growing a business or you've had a business for a while, I put together eight personal rules that I like to follow that I think could help you in business. In this video, I'll share with you what all eight are and tell you how to apply them so you can be successful too. Hey, if you haven't done so, so far, don't forget to subscribe down there, hit that button, turn that red button to gray. And don't forget to ring the bell, turn on all bell notifications. So you're notified every time I do a new video or I go live and I go live a lot. So you may want to check one of those out too. Okay. So what are these rules and why are they so important when you're growing a business? If you don't have a set of rules to fall back on a set of things that you require in your business, it can be kind of detrimental. And if you do have these things, it can really help your business grow. So let's jump right into it and see what they are. Number one rule. And I think this is probably the most important of all rules give before you take. Yeah. Give before you take this applies in not only business, but in your personal life in your relationships, everything give before you take, make sure you're providing value. Now, an example would be, let's say in my survival food company, I may offer, you know, a free download or a free course or something that helps people protect their family. And I will do that before I will offer them anything for sale because that way they can see that I'm giving value. Uh, I do that with friends and family. I try to help them out and do things for them. If you do these things, when you are in need, you'll have somebody to fall back on. Now that doesn't mean that if you do something for somebody that they directly owe you something, it doesn't work like that. What I'm saying to you is you want to help everybody that you possibly can as much as you can. And then when you need it, I think that you'll find it. I think it's a karma thing. Good things will come back to you if you do good things. So that's my number one rule. Number two, work with people who have a good moral conscience. This is so very important guys, because their morals will spill over into your business. If you're working with people who are trying to get over on people or try to screw people over, it's going to fall into your business. It's going to affect your business. You don't want it happening. I know every time that we interview people uh, for our company, there, there's certain questions that I ask and I give them certain moral dilemmas um, to see how they're going to answer it. Uh, and based on how they talk about those moral dilemmas, uh, I can make a better decision if I want to work with these people or not. I think it's something everybody should do. I think you should get to know the people you should find out. Are they married? Are they single? You know, do they have kids? All these different things about their life are very, very important. Um, you know, if, if I talk to somebody and you know, they said, yeah, I have three kids, but I've never lived with them. They live out of state and I don't really see them. That tells me something about that person. Uh, if I see somebody who's been married four five, six times, that may tell me something about that person. Okay. So knowing what their moral basis is can really affect your business. Just work with people with good morals. Number three, surround yourself with the best. Uh, I think a lot of managers and business owners are afraid to hire somebody who may be smarter than them. Um, nothing could be further from the truth. You do want to hire people that are smarter than you. Uh, I worked in a job for many years and my boss didn't know a lot of things. He didn't know about computers. He didn't know about technology. Uh, he didn't have certain skills. Uh, and the fact that I knew some of those things I think was intimidating to him. Uh, he, it scared him. Uh, and he blocked me in a lot of different ways because he was afraid of that. Uh, but if you take somebody like Elon Musk, he's a really smart guy. Uh, but he hires people that are very, very smart. You know, he, he started a rocket company because he hired people who were brilliant in that area. He started a car company because he knew a lot of technology people that were really smart and he surrounded himself with the best people in the world, which has done nothing but lift him up. So don't be afraid to hire somebody that knows more than you. It is a good advantage. Number four, remember life is short. Uh, and what I mean by this is everything you do in business, everything you do in your personal life, um, you've got to think, you know, how would I be judged on down the road by these things? You know, what would people think about me for doing these things? Uh, and it also makes you want to accomplish more because you know, when you are dead and gone, all you're really going to have is your accomplishments and how you treated people. So knowing this and understanding that life is short does change your trajectory. It makes you work maybe a little bit harder. It makes you try a little bit more than you would have normally. And that certainly can help your business. Number five, build on your strengths and hire on your weaknesses. Um, I can't tell you how many times this has been important to me. Um, I hire a lot of freelancers to do a lot of different things. And I know I'm good at certain things. You know, I, I can write scripts. I can write copy. I can, you know, come up with ideas to market things. Uh, but when it comes down to some technical stuff, 
that's not my forte okay I don't do that I'm not good at graphics I know that uh, I may not be the best video editor in the world I know that um, so I hire people that are good at those things I hire people to work on websites I'm not good at that um, I double down on my strengths and my weaknesses I normally hire out and I think if you apply that in your business um, it goes a really long ways because if you aren't good at something and this is what I've noticed and you may be different but I've noticed if I'm not good at something more than likely I don't like doing it either it's like if you don't like doing something you probably aren't good at it and if you aren't good at it you probably because you don't like doing it so if that's not something you want to do either it kind of relieves you of that burden of having to work on things that you really don't want to do number six finish what you start I see this happen so much in uh, online sales I see people start so many things and they never complete it I see them start YouTube channels and they get you know 23 subscribers and they make six videos and they drop it because they didn't get the results they wanted understand that some of the things you're gonna do online they're gonna take time and it's gonna take a lot of effort um, and it, it this this applies to everything you do maybe it's exercise maybe if you tell yourself well I'm gonna do you know a hundred push-ups um, don't stop at 60 or 70 you can take a break but the point is if you said you're gonna do it do it complete what you said you're gonna do now does that mean that I finish every project um, on time every time no it doesn't mean that but it also means that I don't drop projects and never come back to them uh, unless I find that it's not advantageous for my business obviously I would then uh, but I've got one course I've been working on for quite some time uh, digital course designer which is a, it's a course on how to make courses uh, and it's taken me some time to work on it but I will complete it I'll complete it like I did all the other courses I did too it's just gonna take me a little bit of time don't quit because it seems difficult don't quit because you feel like you're not making as much progress as you want just don't quit just keep doing it and stick to it and finish what you start number seven this is a tough one try to make time for everything now what I mean by this is you've got personal tasks you got to do you've got business tasks you got to do you have fun things you want to do intertwining all those things can sometimes prove to be difficult uh, I was a single dad and raised two kids and uh, I worked during the day on my business and sometimes one of those kids will call me or they'll text me or want to talk to me and I generally will pretty much quit what I'm doing the other day my son called me and I was exercising and I asked if I could call him back so that was okay but for the most part I want to make time for them uh, I think that's super important I want to make time for my wife right I want to make downtime you know uh, sometimes you know we work a lot we'll work day and night and then some evenings you know I'll just look at her and say hey maybe we ought to take this evening off and just relax and watch a show or something like that it is important to make time for everything it's not easy you know that's why a lot of people say well I just don't have enough time everybody's got the same amount of time nobody has more or less time than you we all have 24 hours a day it's just the areas where we place importance you know if I worked on that course I was telling you about a couple minutes ago and I worked on it every single day day and night I'd get it done a lot quicker but I would have to give up doing some other things that I think I should do too, uh, spending some personal time with people talking to my kids or whatever it may be um, so I try to spread it out do the best I can and that's all you can do too you'll never be perfect at this okay you'll never be able to make your time perfect for everybody or give everybody enough time but the important thing is that you do all of it and you make some time for all of it number eight pay it forward at every opportunity and here's what I mean by that if I see somebody online who's asked me a question I'm gonna answer them as long as I can get to all the questions obviously um, if I see somebody in life who needs help I'm going to help them out it doesn't matter if it's opening a door or it is you know I, I went into a Chinese restaurant the other day and the guy in front of me was trying to pay with a credit card and he had ordered for a family of four and um, the card wasn't going through um, and he was gonna have to leave his food so I said hey I'll pay for it for you uh, he looked at me like I was crazy uh, he says no this is like 40 some odd dollars I said I know don't worry about it you know do it for somebody else uh, and that's the one thing I do tell people when I do something like that is I say if I'm gonna do this for you do me a favor and just help somebody else out on down the road and I think that actually happens I think they actually do it I'll never have you know I'll never know for sure uh, but I think if you pay it forward at every opportunity um, I think uh, it, it all comes around to you now that doesn't mean that you should go into a restaurant and buy everybody's dinner um, that was a particular situation that happened to this guy and you, if you think well I never run into those situations as soon as you get in your head that you're gonna help people out you'll start coming across those situations you'll start attracting those situations and here's the cool thing about it um, that that $40 or whatever it was 
it's not as much as you're going to get back emotionally from doing stuff like that how good you're going to feel from doing stuff like that um, we used to go out and help the homeless a lot and feed the homeless and do all that and we felt so good when we came back it was like well that was really cool that we could go out there and give these people food and do things for them find something that you're interested in uh, find people out there that need some help and make sure you pay it forward okay so I got a little bonus I said there was gonna be eight things there are eight things but I'm sitting here thinking of other things I'm going to share with you that I think would really help you out um, the first thing is lead from the front um, I had a gentleman contact me uh, the other day that I had worked with gosh probably 12 years ago 13 years ago and he was asking for a character reference uh, because he had something on his record he was trying to get off uh, and as it turned out when he was 19 years old he was in the military and he punched his superior uh, which I think the guy deserved it uh, he said something to him that was um, racially unacceptable uh, and he punched him and he got this charge on his record and he was court-martialed and he was kicked out of the military uh, I came to know him uh, as a grown man you know in his 40s uh, and he was one of the nicest people I'd ever met and I was more than happy to help him you know expunge his record if we could do so because he was a really good person I guess the bonus is if you can help somebody out like that do it no and, and I think the the moral of the story is that guy that said something really rude to him was his superior uh, and his superior was supposed to lead from the front uh, and he didn't lead from the front what he did is he tried to belittle somebody who he managed and I think so that's one of the worst things you can do is belittle somebody you manage you owe it to somebody that you manage to show them how hard you're gonna work to lead to be out front to do stuff for them so that they can see an example and learn from you because remember one day they may have that position so I think it's really important to lead from the front the last thing I'm gonna leave you with which I think is most paramount importance is do your best at everything do your best at everything I hate when people say well that doesn't matter because of this that does I don't have to do that that well because of this everything you should do well every single thing whether it's making dinner whether it's taking care of your kids whether it's painting your house whatever it is you want to do your best at every single thing if you do that in business you apply that in business and you do the very best you can every single time it will come back to you I can promise you that I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you got a lot out of it don't forget also or maybe you, you aren't gonna forget because I didn't tell you about it but there's a course below there's a $97 course you can get but you can get it absolutely free all you have to do is click and learn simple to get now I want to hear what do you think about my rules what do you think about my eight rules and my bonuses do you think it can help you in business do you have some rules of your own that you always stick to I want to hear what you do too I think that could be pretty interesting if you have any questions about uh, making money online or building your business put those comments and questions below along with your stories I would love to hear them thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell turn on all bell notifications so you're notified every single time I do a new video give me a thumbs up if you don't mind all you gotta do is hit it go ahead and do that right now I'll wait to get done did you hit thumbs up did you do it okay I really appreciate it that helps a lot thanks a lot guys I appreciate you watching this video and I'll see you in the next one hey thanks for watching my video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right here so you can be notified every time I do a new video also click on one of those videos there keep watching on my channel